this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for how to kill a kit with style. And today, this is an amazing little thing I am going to do. So I got out all of my blocks. My blocks are from Stampin' Up! So all of the clear blocks that you see me working with are from there. And the stamp of the month for Close to My Heart number S1808 is for the love of crafty and it's got all different little goodie thingies on here so the saying that I use is craftiness is happiness enjoy the small stuff if you can't stand the the mess get out of the craft room I love crafting craft crafting today do housework tomorrow I craft so hard I sweat glitter and I'm placing embossing Versamark on all of these stickers, and I, or all of these stamps, I should say. And I'm going to use the white that you see sitting there. And I just place it all over, these stamps all over, and I get them going. Now, the little white marks that you see on my black piece of paper, that is where my picture is going to go. So I wanted to make sure that when I place all of these stamps everywhere, that I can make sure that the picture goes in that spot and it looks correct when I go down. And let me tell you, I got an old stash stamp out out of Stampin' Up! I know that it's no longer available. They had a heart and some stars, like a little, like, it looks like a snowflake, but I treated it more as like a starburst. And this is what I'm placing all around. I'm just placing it in the spots that are kind of empty. Is what I'm doing and like I said I'm using that as my little picture and I'm just going to town I'm making sure all of this works and here I go just getting it all over making sure it's all dabbled up I will link everything down below make sure that you go check out all of the ladies that are doing this uh, how to kill a kit with style, our layout chairs, and what we are using for the month, and all that kind of stuff. And also, if you are interested in this particular stamp, I will link everything down below as well. You can purchase it two different ways. The first way is you can pay for it through the whole month of August, and this stamp set is only available for the month of August. You can purchase it just as general as is, and it's the item number. I'll link that all down below there, and that's for $17.95. Or if you purchase $50 or more in my shop, you can get it for $5. Just letting you know, I'm not trying to sell it, but I just wanted to let you know where it's at and how you can purchase it if you do like to get this. It's got the Insta picture on there. It's got another part that says do what you love that kind of stuff so it's pretty awesome I took out three shimmer paints the acrotones that are no longer available in the shop and I splattered the heck out of it I really really wanted to get a good um, splatter on it and I leave it and I even add some more to it this pen this pen is amazing it is very glittery and I take this pen and I glitter in between the words because there's a little bit of space left over in the word glitter and I think I did it twice yep and that pen is and I'm gonna definitely be getting some more of these this pen is the the nouveau glitter marker the color is urban graphite so it's the silver one you can't really see it on camera, but when you look at the still shots, I did make sure that I got it pretty close. So you could see it. You could see the glitter in the word glitter. I made sure that I did it. And then I did do the hearts and stuff too. So this picture is of the Crafty Retreat. Like I said, all of my stuff is the Dear Lizzie collection. I'll link everything down below so you can see what I am using for the kit this month. And then also this picture is my crafty desk at the retreat. Of course, you've got to take pictures of every little thing. And you got to take the picture of where you scrapbooked all weekend, right? 
And that's pretty much what I did here. And I have to scrapbook it. Of course, I'm all set up, ready to go. And that's the reason why I decided to use this stamp set was because of it does get chaotic, it gets messy, all of that kind of stuff. I didn't do too many layering. I didn't want to do too much because I didn't want it to take away from the banner that I did kind of like the strip down the bottom. And my title for this one is called Fun Times. And I take this sticker set because it literally has the word fun and times. And I place the fun and then the times goes right underneath in between all of that glittery stuff that I did. And I do place a little bit more stickers on here as well. And I do show you where I do my journaling too. And I take some hearts and I place it around. And I just make this very bright and flamboyant because I embossed and I'm talking about glittering and a mess and all that kind of good stuff. And I'm just placing some stickers off of this Stay Colorful collection. So I'm hoping that you're liking this for the summer. I was so grateful to be asked for the last three months to do this. It was a lot of fun to do up some process videos. Just to let you know the month of September. Ooh, excuse me, sorry about that. Didn't mean to yawn. So the month of September, oh man. Get ready. That's all I gotta say. I've got a huge big thing that's coming up. And it's going to be amazing with a bunch of other little scrapbookers. And the still shots are coming up. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. And if you do, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Or if you have questions about the stamp set. I'm going to finish off with some splatters. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!